hard being out on a cold night like this. And this right here is what Khan thinks yeah. about that. Yeah. Hi. Some way, some way, I may know you're dare. Ni got them more right to or more. O mo taga unazuite oita. Can you read this kanji once more for me? Yoru? Hi, 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 yoru. <clears throat> so, a cold, a cold rain, and a night, a night cold rain, dare ni totte motsurai. Um, a night that is cold, rainy. You know what today means? Ooh, that in. Mm -mm, I forgot. Today was a word you've had trouble with last time as well. Today is harsh or hard. Harsh. So, harsh. In other words, Samui uh, Ame no Yoru wa today. What does that mean? It's mean that the night is harsh. So so, who is the night harsh for? <clears throat> it harsh. Um. To moto ga nare ni for anyone. Yes, for anyone exactly because dare mo is anyone and ni totte is for so for anyone. What does the motaga mean? Motaga, I thought. Yeah, I thought that it was hard for anyone, but I unazuitad anyway. Unazuite. Unazuite is to shake. Yes, to shake, shake your, your head, head, to nod. Perfect. To nod. And then oita is like aru. Mm, not really. In the past one. Um, so, aru, aru is to exist, and atta is the past tense of that. Iru is also to exist with um, ita as a past tense. And oru is the old version of, like, old man version of iru, which becomes um, otta. Otta. This oru, oita right here, comes from oku. Oku, which is not oru. Oku is used to mean the do in advance. But um, it's kind of used in Japanese to basically kind of mean like I should do this or because um, you basically it means you're doing something with some amount of intent behind the action. Um, over here, he's nodding for the purpose of possibly getting food or something. Old man's like, hmm, it's cold for you on a night like this. So I decide to nod, basically. Kind of like to decide in the moment. Does that kind of make sense? Oku. So just a quick question. So the person that is nodding is, who is it? Is it Khan? Yes, Khan is nodding. Khan I see, so he's thinking... He's thinking in his mind that in at a night, a night, a, a, a rainy night, a rainy cold night such as a rainy cold night would be harsh on anyone. Yes, I thought. Yep. Um. However, I nodded. Yeah. So the however is in there anyhow. because the previous sentence nobody says for someone like you. And Khan thinks, well, not just me, for everybody. But he nods anyway. But yeah. Mm. And this oita, it's kind of like, it's oku, meaning I sh he should. He should, he should do it. He should do it. Hi. He should nod. So did he nod it in the end, or did he just thought he to nod. himself that? He nodded. Oku does not mean to think to yourself. Oku means to plan, basically. To plan immediately. To do something right now because you planned it. 
So Tamori is more like a deep intention. Like, oh, I'm going to go do something tomorrow. Oku is like, I'm going to go do something right now. Because I decided to do it right now. I made up the plan on the spot. So that, that's what Oku is used. Hi. So he he did it. He nodded because he thought that it's good for him. Yes. When this magician asked him, he he even though it's contrary to the fact, he nodded because he's he think it's good for him. That's why there's a sense that it's it's all yeah. good. It's oita. Hi. Hi. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Um, thank you for clearing that up. Neburi ga ore o mita. Nobody saw me. Ore mo mitsume um has nasu hasu something about I also return a look. Yes. So do you know how miru is different than mieru? Miru is uh, uh, I look at something else. Yeah. So nobody looks I'm, at I... I rather than saying nobody sees me. A little bit different because sees me kind of feels like an English that maybe Khan hid and then he happened to see him, which is or something like that. So nobody looks at me and I stare back at him. Mitsumeru is to stare at. Mitsumeru. And then this last kanji is like hanas, it's like return. Kaisu. Hasu. Kaisu. Mitsume kaisu. To return a stare back because nobody was staring at me. So I stared back at it. Hi. ないはいせ。にもかかわらず。ビンビンしてオルナ。ねぶれはひとりごとのようにすぶやいた。え、名もかかわらず。にもかかわらず。いや、アンエクスペクテッドリー。サムシンライクダット。にも so what did he say? In spite of the, uh, unexpectedly, in spite of that, bin bin shite to do right. bin bin. Yes. And to oru. So this oru is what you were thinking oita was. This is the iru oru that old men use. So. It, it it is there is there is something that pin pin shite right so pin pin is a sound effect for being in good health or being like hearty so in spite of what i thought you're quite hearty you're, you're quite healthy looking right now you're pin 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 shite oruna you're full of you're life. pretty healthy huh right. and this now is like you're pretty healthy huh Yep. Hi. wa hitori goto no yoni. So hitori hitori goto. I'm feeling hito hitori is by oneself, right? Yes. And then goto is the 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 the, the state of being by oneself. That's a alone. good guess. That would be koto. This is goto, which has this kanji. The sound. Uh, the language, kind of. Hitori goto is a monologue. Oh, self-speech. It's self-speech, yep. No yoni. It looks like... Subayaita. And subayai was like the mumbling of the mouth? Yes, yep. So nobody tsubayaita. So it looks as though niyoni. It looks as though looks as though nobody was mumbling to himself. Yep, nobody was mumbling as if talking to himself. Mumbling as if talking to himself. Yep, because yoni is with ni, so that means it's modifying to the yaku. Hi, subayaku, subayaku, and with ni, modifying a verb. Okay, got it. Tokuni, 
Warui chikarao Ukete iru yoni mo Mien. Hey, that's me. Mina. Mien. Did not saw. Did not see. Hi. So right there, that's our actual seeing word, unlike miru, which is to look at. To look. Look at. Hi. So, so right. me and I did, did not see. Hi. Did not see. Mo. Ni mo. Ni mo. The not yo here what. is basically here because he's not like making this into a fact. So you could kind of ignore the yoni because this is just, this is what he does not see is what's below that. Putting above the yoni. Mo is even. That even also even. word. So. Um, I, I so can't even see even see tokuni warui chikaro ukiteru koto. Can even see a special evil power um that ukete iru that that um that receive. Hi, to receive a special evil power. So tokuni is ending with a ni. What do you think that tells us from tokuni? Is that modifying? Tokuni. Yeah, what is that modifying? Modifying a verb. So, so, so it's not saying a special power. It's saying a special receiving. So rather than saying a tokubetsu na chikara, which would be the special power, tokuni is just saying not a particular amount, I guess, of power in this case. So it's kind of being used more like quantity in this context. So like in particular, it doesn't look like you've especially received any power. So it's describing the act of receiving the bad power than the bad power that he received. So in other words, he's looking so pinky instead of unexpectedly, you're saying, looking quite healthy. It doesn't I can't see that you've received any bad pat any 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 especially anything bad. <laughs> you're pinky hmm. instead of okay, that it. Hi. And this oran right here Yo, is that oru, no. which is that iru. Yeah. Hi. So, warui chikara, nan no koto da. Bad influence, bad power. What is that? Mada namae o koite. Hmm. Hiko, hikoite. Hiko, so, hikoiru. Hiko e ru ends with a do. This is the same kanji, but it's an ite, which tells us this probably ended with ku. So it's mean to ask. It could mean to ask. Kuite or anna. No, not ku. Uh, th this is this is the thing not over the kanji. So this is ite. Ite is a te form of things that end with ku. For example, verbs that end with u will turn into glottal stop te. And verbs that end with ru so, will just end in te in te form. So this is te hai. form. So it's kite. Hi, kite. Perfect. So kite can mean to ask and it can mean to hear. Um, ask is a fine way to translate in this context if you want to. So here it say Mada Namai o Kite Orana. So it say Ora Nai Na Oranai. What is Oranai? Hi, so Oranai oru, what? The Oranai and Oru is the same verb. This n here, you know, is him doing his little slurring like with the mien versus mienai. So oru, oran, that's iru in negative form. So inai in this case. Oranai na. na. So it's saying, I haven't heard. So I haven't heard your name yet. Perfect. So iwarete mo oshieru sumori wa Nai no de Katao Sukumete Gomaga sheep. Saying here, um, Gomakase is to like to 
not to deceive necessarily, but it's like to kind of s- switch topics. To it, it's like the oh, deceive oh. That is one of the definitions. Uh, to manipulate, kind of. To manipulate, to misrepresent. Yeah. Domakashita. So he says, so you are the more. So to say, he wanted to say. Who's saying? When you say it like that. Hi, hi. Oshieru sumori wa nai no de. Uh, the intent to tell you nai no de. I have no intention. Hi. If you say it that way, I have no what intention. What is temo? Temo. Adding more to te. Temo is like... So remember, mo has two it's... meanings. Yes. So even if you say it like that, I have no intention of telling you. No that. However... Patao tsukumete. Shake my shoulder. Tsukumete. This is to shrug. Shrug. So shrug you got no de. You got no de confused with no ni. No ni means however. No de doesn't mean however. No de means how. No de mean therefore. Yes. Kind of like a cuz. It's a not super aggressive. So kata is a little bit more aggressive. No. Kata o tsukumete. Shrug the shoulder. Gomakashita. To, to, dis, to reflect his question, exactly. basically. Perfect. Yep. And then, never ga nani ka i o to kuchi o hiraita sono toki mise mise no chunin ga Rio Rio um, Yama no Yoni Otta Sara O um, Unde Good guess. It does look a lot like um, this is Hakobu Konde Hakobu Hako Hakonde Hi. Can you read owner again for me? Chunin. So it's actually, I believe, Shujin. Yep, Shujin. So rather than Nin, it's the Jin. So. Kito's a hard kanji because of that. Multiple readings. Suchin ga riori. Right. Okay, so neburi nani ka iyo to kuchi o hiraita. So what is hiraita? Hiraita wa nani? nani. If you saw the kanji for hiraku, I bet you'd recognize it. Hira, Hira, oops, right there. Well, it's too close. The opposite. It's to open. Close is to told you to, and has like a thing that looks like that in the middle of it. This guy has a Tory gate in the middle for some reason. Tory gates are Hira. open to everybody. Hiraku, orai, hiraita. So, nobody, kuchi o hiraita. What did nobody do? He opened mouth 
Why do you think he opened his mouth? Nani kaiyo to? Nani kaiyo to? Nani ka is what? Hi. Something. Yo to is. Yo yo to. Yep. This is o. Provisional form from you. We saw here with iwate teru. So same base verb right there. Okay. Is. He write that in the mouth that try to say something. Nanika. Yep. Yo Perfect. He attempts to say Yo. something. Sono toki. Sono. Sono toki. And at that time, right. Uh, no shunin, shuchi, shuchin. Right. Um, ga ryori o yama. Yama no yo ni motta sara o hakonde kite. And at that time, the owner of the store, he motta sara o. Hakonde, he carries and come towards us Hi. with a plate Hi. that is motta, like pile up with. Hi. Motta is to pile. Uh, yo ni. Yama no yo ni. As if it is the size of a mountain. As Aye. if it is a mountain. Yep. Uh, the ryori, which is the food. So he, he carried over and came to us a plate, mount, a plate that's mounted with food as if it was a mountain. Mm. So, um, what is the motta doing here? I can't fully tell if you understand that part or not. I don't know what the verb motta I, means. So, motta is the pile up. You did translate it right. But what was kind of confusing is that I couldn't tell if you were thinking he was piling up plates or he was piling up food on plates. What he's doing is that he has food piled up on plates. Because we have an O right here, but there is no verb before that. So verbs get first come, first serve. So this right here has an O, so it needs a verb. And yama is not a verb. Yoni is not a verb, but mutta is a verb. So that means this O belongs to mutta. So that means they're piling up ryori. It's a little bit confusing. Piling up. Way over there for some reason. The yori is piled up. Hi. And in this case, it'd be on the plate. You can make that assumption because it's a relative plate. clause. And then the yoni ends with ni, so we know this is mod is describing how this food has been piled up. So the food has been piled up on the plate like a mountain, and that plate with the food on it that's been piled up like a mountain is being carried toward everybody and then narabetad on the table. Hi. Narabe table ni narabeta and lined it up, lined it up on the table. Perfect. So I think we'll stop the meeting here for our halfway point. It's like a little bit before uh, this, the Zoom says do it, but it's kind of nice to just have that separated like that, <laughs> especially since it's 7.30. So yeah, I'll see you in two seconds.